It's the big one at the Curra on Saturday. It is the Super Pick 6, and what a pool we have in store. There's already over 400,000 in the pot. The tote are estimating that the Pick 6 pool is going to reach three quarters of a million. Yes, you heard it, three quarters of a million at the Curra on Saturday. It's the time to get all your friends together, get all your family together, pretend it's the lotto. Let's do the pick six, throw in fivers, throw in tenors, throw in twenties, get a syndicate together and do the pick six at the Curra on Saturday. The first of six legs is a maiden at 210 and it's a really interesting maiden. The one I like is Decrypt from the Paddy Toomey stable, a really well-backed colt on its debut at the Curra. Ran, I thought, really well behind Indigo Balance. Just got into a little bit of mid-race trouble, but stayed on quite takingly to finish second. Started at five to one that day. It was double figure price in the morning, but I thought it ran a cracker that day, and I'd expect the Crypt to be in the thick of things here. Behind the Crypt, back in eight that day, was Cardini, a son of magician, who was expected to take a massive leap forward from its first start, as so many of Aidan O'Brien's can. So in leg number one of this big pick six, we're going to include two horses. That is number two, Cardini, and number three, Decrypt. Moving on to leg number two, it's a 2.45, and oh my god, it's impossible. It is the six furlong handicap. We're going to include a couple in here. The one I really like, actually, down near the bottom, is number 23, Crystal Icon, from the Tom Mullen stable. Don't forget, this horse ran in a grade one hurdle at the Aintree Festival, four to We Have a Dream. Before that, it won a maiden hurdle at Cork by 17 lengths. It's now running in a six furlong handicap, but it's off a mark of 47. This horse is rated 125 over hurdles, so it has to be well handicapped. The trip is a little bit of a worry, but it's always showed loads of speed. It's a real keen, exuberant type. So Crystal Icon number 23 is a must for all coupons in leg number two. We're also going to include number 22, Altib, who was second to Pedasnap, who was frank to form since at Navin. Uh, Altib was second to Pedasnap at Gorham Park. And we're also going to include number six, Polly Douglas, who looked to be crying out for an extra furlong, went fourth at Navin most recently behind Nig Bay. So that is number six, Polly Douglas, number 22, Altib, and number 23, Crystal Icon in leg two of your pick six. Moving on to leg number three, it does get a little bit easier, folks, but we're going to include three in this as well. Number two, One Over You, is a real consistent sprinter. Richard O'Brien has done really well since he's got his hands on One Over You. Real fast, pacey type, should take the world of beating here, One Over You. But because it's a big one, we're going to include a few more. We've also got number four, Nig Bay, who looked a different animal at Navin. Real, real confident ride that day. Came late, stormed down the outside and was quite impressive at Navin. It's not that long ago, it's gone up nine pound, but perhaps this Nick Bay has turned a corner. So we're gonna include number four, Nick Bay, and also number six, Rattling Jewel, who bounced back to form with a fine second last time. So number two, one over you, number four, Nick Bay, and number six, Rattling Jewel in leg number three. Moving on to leg number four, and it's the big one. It's the listed silver flash stakes, and we should have a banker here in number one, Mustajir, the ex own Burroughs trained colt. This horse I thought ran really well last time out, in the Moorsbridge Stakes at Nace. That was a much hotter affair than this. A close up four to Cliffs of Moher. Remember, this was only a handicapper when Ger Lyons got his hands on him. He's gone up to a mark of 110 now. He's a class act in the race. He has to give weight away to everything. But I think Mustajir has got a cracking chance in that 3.55. I know it, I said Mustajir could be a banker, but let's include just one more, just in case, just in case. We don't want to exit in leg number four. So we're going to include number five, Theobald, who was in disgrace when seventh in the 2000 guineas behind Roman eyes not so long ago at the Curra. This is a weaker affair, so Theobald should be in the thick of things, but it's Mustajir, who's our number one hope in the 355 leg four of the pick six. Moving on to the penultimate leg, that's leg number five at 4.30, and it is a one mile two handicap, and core specialist Ared, who got such a good ride from Dylan Hogan last time, he has to be included, included in your coupons again. It's gone up a pound for that course and distance win last time, but deservedly so, and is in the, in the form of its life at the moment. Uh, that is number two, Ared, and Bumba who caught the eye I thought for Willie McCreary last time. It was only fifth to Arred in that race, but it's been dropped a pound. Arred has gone up eight pounds, so it's nine pound better off with Arred for that run. And I think Bumbasina is gradually getting there. This is fourth start of the season, and Bumbasina might be a big price. 
and could be worth including in your coupon. So number two, Arad, and number four, Bumbasina in leg number five. Moving on to the sixth and final leg. At this stage, you'll be biting your fingernails if you're still standing in the pick six coupon. It is a two mile handicap, and good news, folks, it looks quite simple to solve. We hope, fingers crossed. I think that Rashan, number one, I think he's got a cracking chance. You know, hurdles, flat, chases, no matter what it is, Rashan is well able to adapt. He is so versatile and he's the class act of this race. He's got top weight, but he's got top weight for a reason. He comes into the race on the back of a good second over fences at Ballon Robe. And also number two, Adun, who I thought ran well behind St. Stephen's Green in a course and distance handicap last month at the Curra. I thought that was a good run for Dermot Wells. I think he's just getting there, Adun. So the two I like in leg number six are number one, Rashan, and number two, Adun. There's a lot of these. There's five of these that are running from out of the handicap. Jan van Eyck, Nelson's Road and M M Mikras are way out of the handicap, so they shouldn't be involved. So that should make this six leg of the pick six a little bit easier. And the two, as I said, I like are Rashan, number one, and number two, Adun. So there you go, folks. That is your pick six coupon for the Curra on Saturday. That will cost you €144 Euro for a €1 Euro stake. But look, get your friends involved. Get your family involved. Get your teachers. Get your fellow colleagues involved. Whoever wants to play the pick six, do it at the Curra on Saturday. There's going to be a whopping three quarters of a million. Who doesn't want to win? Three quarters of a million. You can play the pick six online at www.thetote.com or of course on course at the Curra. Don't forget.